came from a can. Tonight we do some saucy bangers. And some macaroni and cheeses. Mmm. So on our Facebook uh, page, somebody private messaged us a link to a uh, UK uh, web store where we could buy all kinds of delicious canned British treats. Yeah. Here's where we're starting with the Heinz. I say I know these are both Heinz. Yeah, don't want to mix up the different brands. All right. We uh, let's see. We did the Heinz curry beans. Yeah. The spaghetti. Yeah. I know that. Like I've seen a couple other ones at the store. There's like leek soup. Ew. And then like another one. I can't remember what the hell it is. I think it might just be beans. Probably. Like, here, like Heinz just makes ketchup. So like these things are weird to us. So stop making fun of us. <laughs> I think I'm going to try the big saucy bangers. Big saucy bangers. Sounds like something I want in my mouth. Right <laughs> now. Get some big saucy bangers all up in my mouth. Yeah, there you yeah. go. One thing I must say, they come in a nice easy pull top. It's great. That's nice. Oh yeah, those look like big and saucy bangers right there. So saucy. Now I bought some bangers the other day. And they look nothing like this. And then I had bangers at Patty Coins, and they look nothing like this. So, like, is a banger just the general term for a sausage? I think so. I don't think there's, like, a single standard of what exactly a banger is. It's just sort of a sausage-y type thing. It's got some weird black thing in the middle. Hopefully that's seasoning. <laughs> I think it's a bone. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sausage bone. Yeah. It kind of tastes like a breakfast sausage that's been soaked in pork and beans for a while, but then it's got like the texture of a Vienna sausage. Hmm. It's a little weird. Interesting. A little weird. Try some with some beans here. I think unless you eat like an entire sausage, like just that little bit of beans that I had with that piece of sausage, you taste the beans or the sausage. And to me, like, the sausage really doesn't have, like, you get just a little bit of a hint of a sausage flavor, and then just the the sauce of the beans just takes over the rest of the flavor of the... Yeah. So it's just more of, like, a meatish textured thing in your beans. All right, what do you got next? What do I have next? Oh, I got to drink a beer. That's what I got <laughs> All righty. Once again, nice easy pull top. Oh, mm, God. That is quite, quite saucy. Oh, God. Very gelatinous -y. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. Wow, that's actually really good. Interesting. That's not bad at all. It's way better than, like, them Easy Bags. Hmm. It's not quite the par of, like, the Bob Evans for what it is. I don't know how much this costs. Well, and, a lot since we had a ship from the UK, yeah, but but I mean, for people who can get it like at the store, uh -huh. I would probably recommend that. Mm. It's actually a pretty pretty solid little uh, can there. It's a shame there's so little of it. <laughs> I eat the living <laughs> fuck out of that. Yeah, that one's pretty good. All right, I think that's better than the uh, saucy than the bangers. Bangers, yeah. Yeah, that is very much your classic uh, baked bean sort of sauce that goes along with it. Nothing too out of place here. They almost taste like there's like um, some sort of wheat product in there, like uh, oats or something. And I've noticed that uh, that about a few bangers, they have this sort of strange either spice or sort of wheat in them. It's like do you get like that kind of sausage linky flavor to it, and then it just kind of dissipates because of the a little bit, like sort of on the outside where they're kind of maybe skillet cooked or something. Yeah, like where they're brown. It has a little bit of that going on, but it's very, very light. Mm -hmm. And the texture is way, way different. Yeah, it's not like you're eating pork fat or anything. It's just this weird... I guess almost like eating a dumpling, but it's meat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But as far as, like, a baked bean thing goes, I, I like these more. Yeah. Than, like, your standard... Beans and Franks? Beans and Franks. Yeah. Definitely. Better than that. They're not as much sort of like sweet I guess you would say like a lot of 
baked beans that you would get here, even in a can, are very sweet. They have a lot of molasses and yeah. sort of brown sugar in them, and I don't really like them like that. These are almost more tomato-y, but not tomato quite. It's hard to explain. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, they they remind me like the Van Camp's <clears throat> baked beans, where you get like that big chunk of pork fat and shit on top. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, as far as baked bean quality goes, pretty tasty. These are so surprisingly creamy. <laughs> like, and they even have, like, as you pull it up, you get a little bit of string coming off. Yeah. Like, there's actually cheese in here. That's where I was like, this is going to be all over my beard, but luckily I managed to do it. It's quite strange. Let's see if I can get it all over my hair. The flavor of the cheese is all right. It does kind of have a little bit of that uh, craft sort of flavor. But the noodles still have like the SpaghettiOs sort of noodle flavor. Mm -hmm. Which is a little bit lower quality than what I would say the Bob Evans does. Which is a much more natural <laughs> flavor. Oh, yeah. These definitely have like a SpaghettiOs kind of vibe happening just because they're canned. But... I've never seen mac and cheese SpaghettiOs. If they had those, I would eat them all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah, if there were anything like that, I can't, like I said, I, I want those, but unfortunately it costs us $49 to ship a can, so. Yeah. This is, this is pretty fucking good. Like, I'm surprised this isn't in America. We would eat this shit up. Cheese in a can? Mac and cheese? Come on. It's because it's easier to make Easy Mac filled with, like, those weird chemicals and it make your noodles cook It is so in not easier. <laughs> I would much rather open up one of these and eat them than cook those fucking noodle things that never cook all the way through. They have that white powder, like you're saying, that's like, you don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> They're like the Easy Mac hit or miss thing. It's like, one of them you'll cook in three minutes and it's fucking awesome, and then like the other 15 of them, one's overdone, one's not done, one's too done, but the cheese isn't quite right, and it's just yeah. like, what the hell is this? And there's a, like a millimeter difference between being perfectly filled and being overfilled or underfilled. Mm -hmm. So it'll just either boil over or they'll all dry out. Yeah, and that line is not necessarily the line. Yeah, that's true. Fuck you, Kraft Mac or Cheese. Bullshit. Get, get you some of this shit. Way better. Way easier. Way more convenient gonna eat shitty mac and cheese eat this shit good job uk everybody gets one 